Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you what to do if you get the Entry Protect has blocked this screen capture error. This type of error is caused by a third-party program called Entry Protect, which is a part of the SafeNet client. Usually, the cause stems from a conflict between screen capture or sharing programs and the Entry Protect software. So let's take a look at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is installing a less restrictive version of the software. Firstly, you have to uninstall the regular version of the SafeNet client. You can do that by going in the Apps and Features and selecting the program and thus uninstalling it. After it's uninstalled, you have to insert the software disk and check if it contains a less restrictive version of the same tool. Then install the software and restart your PC. Lastly, launch the screen share or capture program to see if the issue is resolved. This problem can also arise for Sophos users. Sophos is another data security third-party software with top-level network protection. But if you have it installed on your computer, it may block the screen capture and screen sharing feature as well. To fix the issue, you may have to whitelist the web traffic by creating a web policy. The process can be a little tedious, but you can check out the step-by-step -step information on the Sophos official website. I will also post a link in the description below. Another great solution is whitelisting or allowing the app through firewall. To do that, click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type firewall and network protection. Then select firewall and network protection. Then click on allow an app through firewall option. Then select change settings. Then look at the listed programs under allowed apps and features. Find the screen capture program and check both private and public boxes to whitelist the program. And click OK to save the changes. And another great solution could be checking your antivirus and firewall. To do that, just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type firewall and network protection. Then click on firewall and network protection. Afterwards, click on private network and turn off Windows Defender firewall. Do the same with public network if you are connected to one. Once the firewall is off, launch the screen capture program and check if you can capture the screenshot. If not, disable the antivirus. You can easily disable the antivirus by quitting from the taskbar. Or launch the malware protection program and turn off real-time protection. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.